Good morning, how are you doing? And welcome to another uh, tutorial. Uh, this video is going to be on how you, as a teacher who will be using Schoology in your classroom, can create a virtual classroom with your students within Schoology using the big blue button. So what I'm gonna do now is share my screen. Okay, so I am going to go inside of Schoology, which you see here I am right now. You are going to find your course, And inside of your course, you're going to find this conferencing. I have actually sent out the conferencing option to every course in Schoology. So whenever you create a course, you will see this right here. And before I go into that, let me give you a quick plug. Uh, this is actually my PD course for teachers who need to renew the CE you need to get PD hours in order to renew their license. As you can see, there is a Schoology course worth four hours of professional development. There is a G Suite module verse worth 20 hours of professional development. There is a blended learning module worth uh, 20 hours of professional development. And here is a PLN course for Twitter worth two hours of professional development. So if you are interested in learning more about how to use these tools and really rein reinvigorate your teaching, reimagine the learning experiences of your students, I ask you to take these modules and see how the impact you will see in your classroom. I've had great feedback from teachers as well as understanding that with the completion of these modules, you will actually gain hours needed in order for you to renew your license. So back to the conference tool. Once I click on this, okay, I'm waiting for this thing to load. It will take you to here where if you this is your active where we're going to create and then these are completed where they will show like past conferences that you've done so on this active one we're going to hit create conference I'm going to name this demo for the sake of this pre this uh, video I'm going to give it a date Give it an end date. And then I'm going to hit create. Now, when I am ready, all I need to do is hit start conference. Now, on your students' end, they are going to see this as a link. And they're going to click on that. And then that will put them inside of the conference. So I'm going to go this. I'm going to do this right here. And notice this brings me into this where you will be actually delivering your video conference, uh, your direct instruction for your students. Now, what I want to do is give you some tips. One, understand that when you are creating your virtual classroom and you are using Schoology for your self-directed instruction, the one thing you want to focus on is making sure that you are not only chunking your material, meaning you are not overloading your students with assignments, but chunking them, maybe saying, okay, for this week, here are your four assignments that you will be doing. But you want to keep in mind the different devices that your students 
will be accessing your course. Not all of your students will be using a Chromebook, a laptop, or a desktop, which have different uh, features, uh, have different sizes, allow students to view materials and interact with materials differently. Some students will be using an iPad or an Android tablet, or they'll be using their phones. As such, think of the mobile learning experience of your students. So don't overwhelm them with a lot of text. Don't overwhelm them with a lot of materials that require that type of, of, of reading uh, because of that device. So again, keep that in mind. So when we're going to do this video instruction with your students, there's a record option right here. There's also this right here that says share your screen. Now I will try to share my screen, but I may run into issues because my screen is already being shared currently in doing this tutorial. But notice over here, you have this chat function. Now this public chat function allows your students to actually ask you questions as you are delivering your instruction. You also have the shared notes function where you can ask your students to create shared notes, which is really awesome when your, your, your students are able to sort of create a, a study guide for themselves. So as you are delivering your direct instruction and different students are taking down notes, getting jotting down what they're gathering from the instruction, now you have all of the, the collective brain power your students can draw from in order to have that. You have uh, the opportunity to bring in other materials when you share your screen. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Now, I'm gonna see if it how it was going to work with the sharing with because I have this, but let me try this one. So when you hit your hit share your screen and you hit this here, you're just going to hit share your screen. And now your screen is being shared. You see it right here. So your students are actually seeing this screen which is this outside screen that you're seeing right now so you're you will be able to work with your students and deliver instruction as you would not normally but similarly to when you are using your jtouch tv or if you have a tv in your classroom how you, you're having your multiple tabs open you are teaching and presenting from that screen and you're doing something similarly all right so in doing this i want you to understand and you want to keep your lectures shorter meaning i wouldn't do over 30 minutes i wouldn't do over a few times a week uh, because you want your instruction to be targeted you want it to be based off your standards and you want your lectures, your direct instruction to directly drive, right, the self-directed learning that students will be doing inside of Schoology. So you want them to align with each other. Another thing that you want to do as you are working through this is possibly one day a week have what I like to call is office hours, where maybe for two hours on a Friday or three hours on a Friday, you have this, you create this big blue button call and you just have it open and you tell students from this time to this time, I will be available for instruction with, I will be available for, you know, just to answer your questions. So you have any questions over any instruction over any assignments that we have done in class uh, this week, feel free to hop on and ask me and I can help you through this. Another option for you to do is try what I call non-traditional hours 
of you delivering your instruction. So what an, another teacher at another school uh, told me, shared what she was doing is she has one in the daytime and she has one in an evening. And so you may try doing one in the evening uh, with your students. It's really up to you and working with your administrator and what your administrator wants you to do and you actually sort of finding a groove that works best for you uh, as well as your students, but primarily uh, your students. Now, I want you to look at this function here where it says upload a presentation where you can actually click on this and pull up files from your laptop. So it can be a PDF, it can be a picture, uh, it can be a PowerPoint presentation, and you're able to then work with that in administering direct instruction with your students. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and then I am going to end this tutorial. I hope this tutorial was beneficial to you. And if you have any questions regarding this, regarding designing your courses in Schoology, how to better uh, design for mobile, de mobile devices, please shoot me an email or feel free to give me a call at 601-549-0759. Thank you.